Welcome to another RJ Life Coach video vlogs. Today is Monday, I think it's President's Day, and good morning, so I got another black cup of coffee. I know it's 10.30 my time. It's probably some place, it's probably morning, evening, noon, or night, but good morning here in Washington. So today's topic is gonna be about, well, first, let me introduce myself before I get you started, because if it's your first time tuning into one of my videos, maybe you don't know who I am. So my name is Ronald Johnson. I'm a mindful coach, mindfulness coach. And what I do is I help people that are tired of who they are and where you are, where they are in life. If you're looking to boost your self-esteem, your confidence, it's affecting your relationships, your career, or you're in transition, this is where I can help. You can find me on www.ronjohnsoncoaching.com. Click on the discover call button and let's have a conversation one-on-one. -on -one. So today's topic is going to be about how to create affirmations. So what I learned the other day from, I'm a coach and also have a coach, is how do you create affirmations for yourself when you're going through certain stressors, right? You're worried about your job, worried about your kids getting education, worried about private school, worried about um, if I'm gonna stay in whatever you're gonna stay in, if you're gonna move, worried about all these different things. And it create a lot of anger and frustration and anxiety and you can't sleep and you overeat and all these things. So what happens usually is that when you're going through a situation is that it creates a force, right? And then that force creates a say crater. You have to fill that crater with something. So if you're going through stress, your body is so fatigued, you're so run down, maybe you say, I need to go on vacation. Or you're so stressed and you may pick up drinking because of COVID, no one's traveling that much anymore. Or you're so stressed, you don't know what makes to make you happy. So you're so depleted, pretty much your serotonin is depleted and overrun that you're so tired. A lot of things can happen for people that are individuals. So let's create some affirmations for yourself daily. So what I've done, you take a small, let's say three by five, a little bit bigger, let's say post-it note or you wanna do a piece of paper, right? So obviously both sides are blank. So what I want you to do is what I'm gonna do, take the back side, which obviously is sticky side in my case, I want you to write down what you're going through. Me, I'm gonna put stress. Okay, all right, we're all a little stressed. I'm put worry. I'm put money, right? I'm gonna put uh, future. All right, we're, we're all thinking about a lot of different things, right? So as you can see, stress, money, worry, future is on the back. Now, what I want you to do is on the front, on a non-stick side, of course, or a piece of paper, I want you to write down affirmation. Make sure it's spelled incorrect, affirmations. So that's what you're gonna do. I write down affirmations right here, okay? Now, what I've done is I already have it kind of ready for you, because I did mine earlier, right? So, on the back, you write down your feeling, which can be stress, worry, money, future on the back. And on the front, you write down your affirmation. So, here's the blank one as a demonstration, and here's my one already completed. Now, you may not be able to read it, but I wrote down at least you know, you don't want to write down 20 different things, right? Because you can't remember every single thing. You can barely remember what you did last night, right? So, but once you write down at least one to five or five to 10, but one to five is usually a benchmark because you can recite those before you go to sleep. You can recite them when you wake up in the morning. So I wrote down is, I deserve this. So what I mean by I deserve this means that things are happening in my life as far as shooting these videos, moving into Washington, is I deserve this. It means you deserve the things you want. So not say I deserve something that's happened to me that's bad, I'm saying I deserve things I want. So you want something in life, you gotta say, I deserve this. So I'm saying I deserve what I want in life, okay? Be kind to yourself. A lot of times we're so hard on ourselves because we're comparing ourselves to somebody else that's doing much better or someone that's, that's had something we want. Before, when I had a friend of mine, he had a beautiful wife, he had the car, he had the credit, he had the money. I would always say, man, he's lucky. In reality, he just worked hard for it. There's no such thing as luck. Be patient. We want things now. We don't want to wait. And who wants to wait, right? If you want to have a better body, you want to lose 20 pounds, you want it now. If you want a better career, you want it now. If you want education, you want it now. But be patient. That's what I put for my affirmation. Trust the process. I believe things happen at the right time when it should be in a perfect time. It can be meeting the perfect relationship, it can be getting married, it can be career, it can be education. And a lot of times I look back like, man, thank God that happened to me, or thank God we broke up, or thank God, you know, all these things happen. So I'll put down, trust the process. One important one, all experiences have value. There's no such thing as right or wrong, good or bad. Every experience always value for your life. So maybe you said this was wrong, or this was good, or this is bad, but it's all experience, it's always values for your life. 
my one, which is personal for me, is be that storyteller. You know, I have a lot of stories out there for people to listen to and help, right? So I'm gonna be that freaking storyteller. Next one, another one. Hold for two seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Meditate. I think it's more important when you go through a stressor, take a step back, step away from what's going on, and breathe. Be careful with that. So on the back, I don't care if it's three by five card, sticky note, because I like to have my stuff on my computer so I can look at it every day. Write down the feeling. Stress and worry, anxiety, whatever it's going through. And on the front, write down your one to five or five to ten affirmations that mean something to you. It could be one, it could be two, it could be three, it be four, it doesn't matter. I wrote down mine, I shared it with you, so I hope you guys know how to create affirmations for yourself when you're feeling worry, anxiety, and feeling stress. Because this is how you live a better life, starting with you, because you have the power, and you can be anything you want in your life. Thank you for listening to another Ron Johnson video vlogs. Again, if you need to find, if you want to find me, or you want to book that discovery call because you, you know, want to have someone to talk to, find me on www.ronjohnsoncoaching.com. Click on that discovery call button, I'll get the email, and we will connect. Thanks for listening.